Guess who? Guess who? You miss me? You miss me? Okay, so in this video, I will show you how to get Installus. If you don't know what Installus is, it is a application from Cydia. Obviously, you need a jailbreak, jailbroken iPhone to get it. That allows you to get free applications that are cracked by other people or developers. So it can be useful, and it's pretty pretty hard to use. But once you get the hang of it. You'll be downloading a whole bunch of apps that you like. So, uh, let's get started. First, you open Cydia. I hate Cydia. It takes forever to load. I like using Rock, but a lot of people don't know what that is yet. So, I'm probably just going to cut this part out. See you guys in a few seconds. Alright, so, uh, now that Cydia is loaded up, you want to go into Manage. You're going to go to Sources. Edit, add, and the source that you're going to add is hackylo.us. I'm going to put it in the sidebar. Look for it there, but it is this source right here, hackylo.us. It's at the top. And the three things, two things actually, that you need to install are AppSync for OS 3.1 which is right under AppSync for OS 3.0 and Installus, which is the actual app okay so what AppSync for OS 3.1 does is allows you to sync your applications that you install from Installus to your computer so say you lose everything you don't have a jailbroken iPhone iPod anymore you can still have those applications from AppSync because they're installed to your iTunes. Install this is the actual application. So I don't need to go over with you guys how to install an application. You go to install, confirm, let it do its thing. I think you have to restart Springboard. It takes a little while. That's okay. So then, once you install those things that source those two packages, you are going to go into install this. My icon looks a little different, but it's that little green one in the bottom left-hand corner next to ESPN. Oh, it looks different because of the theme, and it usually takes fairly long to load, depending on the servers. But after it's up and running, it's pretty good. Alright, so install is loaded here. Depending on the time of day that you're trying to go into install this, it will load faster. So if you're trying to go into install this at 4 o'clock in the morning, as opposed to 6 o'clock in the evening, it's going to load a lot faster at 4 o'clock in the morning because there's just less people on the servers. So here we have options. First option is in the upper right-hand corner. It's search. You could search for a application, any application you want. Anything in the iTunes store, they'll have but usually it comes up with a few bad links. Go through that. You have another option here, browse alphabetically. You could browse all the apps, depending on categories they give you, alphabetically. Next one's newest apps. So the newest apps in the App Store from iTunes, or from Apple, I should say, will also be in installers. Those are available for download. Newest updates. So applications, of course, newest updates, you know that. Alright, so I'm going to do a quick search here for a classic application called iBeer. Oops. And you click the search button. And first one I want is iBeer, five drinks, more gags. It's a fun app. Click it. Cool thing about installs is that it gives you kind of a layout of the App Store. It'll give you screenshots, as you see there, the actual price that it costs in the App Store from Apple. It is free and installs, of course. Gives you the category, the latest version, the date that it was released, and the size of the application. So it gives you all the the description of the item, just like it does in the App Store. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, 
gives you n the newest and the new version. Gives you the versions that are available for download. Go to the newest version, which is 3.0.5. See what they got there. Now these are all all um links that you could get. All these links have the actual application. Some of them are bad. Some of them are good. You have to find that out yourself. It's really annoying. It's the bad thing about it. So, you see here, other links at the bottom. Those are not iPod friendly links. I do not recommend using those. If you want to use those, use it at your own discretion. I do not re recommend using those if you don't know what you're doing. All these are iPhone friendly links, which are all iPhone friendly links. Just as it says. Um, all these are usually good. AppScene.org has about a million applications on installers, but you need an account to use it off AppScene. And um, get app is usually good. Let's try that one out. Waiting for it to load as always. All right, so have this little security question here. All right, eleven minus two. That's a hard one. Then you're gonna get download. Lady's face is just creeping me out. She's so happy. It's not even funny. And I'm just gonna start loading. Alright, then you get this little BS right here. Okay, you're gonna scroll up and hit download. Those are all ads. In the middle, you see that big download. Alright, you see two options here one's download and one is install. Never hit the install button off of this screen. You always hit the download button. And I'm gonna cut this video and go to the end of the download so I don't have to make you guys sit through the pain of watching this whole entire thing download. So, see you in a few seconds. Alright, so now that it's nearing the end of the download, there's down after it's done downloading, hits 100%, all the numbers stop going up. You go into the second tab. You see in the bottom left hand corner there's browse. Then in the middle there is downloads. You want to hit downloads. The only thing that I've downloaded so far is iBeer. You're going to click on that. You click install. After you've completely finished downloading, that will pop up in your download menu. And then you hit install. After you do hit install, it does take a little while to respond. So be patient. And then it will go through all this patching. And cracking and all this fun stuff that installs does so I'm not going to spare you the uh, pain of watching this download either but I'll cut this and I'll see you in another few seconds alright so now that it has been done installing it is ready to use on your iPhone or iPod touch so you're gonna click home and it does take a while to respond because it just downloaded something new and I recommend every time that you finish uh, downloading something restart your device it saves memory runs a lot cleaner and you see the newest app that was just installed is iBeer and it works just like the App Store application so um I hope this helped Comment, rate, and subscribe. Have fun getting apps.